One of the passages of the Holy Quran often discussed by the critics of Islam relates to Prophet Suleiman or Prophet Solomon and Wadiun Namal or the Valley of the Ants. This verse is from chapter number 27 of the Holy Quran which you can see here with two different translations. The verse says that until when they came upon the Valley of the Ants and Ants said, O Ants, enter your dwellings that you not be crushed by Solomon and his soldiers while they perceive not. And another way of translating it is that until when they came to the valley of the Namal, a Namalite said, O Namal, enter your houses that Suleiman and his hosts may not crush you while they do not know. Now the claim that is made by the critics is that here the Holy Quran proposes or talks about literal communication between Prophet Solomon and ants, which we know is not possible. For example, here is Dr. J. Smith of CIRA International discussing this matter. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, here's something I'd like to ask Muslims. How would you explain? How did he hear the ants speaking? How was he able to understand what they were saying and be able to smile unless he had uh, either had pheromones? I'm not saying it can, it's impossible. I just like to know how this could be, how this was done. And I don't think, I think what was happening here is... Um, if you, if, uh, my sons love to watch cartoons and there's a beautiful cartoon about Now one thing to note here is that as far as the majority of Muslims today are concerned, their understanding or their interpretation of this verse actually supports this idea. They take this literally and they believe that Prophet Suleiman did in fact have armies of birds and jinns and he was able to communicate with animals in this manner. Here are two such examples. So that Suleiman and his army do not trample all over you and they won't even know and realize because you are so small and insignificant, you will be gone. So all of you enter the homes. And Suleiman, Allah blessed him with the ability to understand that. So immediately he stopped. And he stopped his entire army because of one ant. And he looks back at his army and then he thanks Allah. And Suleiman did not only understand the language of the birds, but Suleiman understood the language of the animals. And this is a miracle itself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Sulaiman alayhi salam in which he understood how, what, what the birds are communicating with one another. He understood how the ants communicate with one another, what they speak. He understood what the animals speak. And this is a miracle, it's not something that you could learn. The Ahmadiyya Islam has a very different take on this. Ahmadi Muslims believe that Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam, may peace be upon him, who founded the community in 1889, he came in fulfillment of the prophecies of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may peace and blessings of God be upon him. Among many other tasks, one of his major tasks was to provide the accurate interpretation of the Holy Quran and remove the misunderstandings that crept in over the past few centuries among Muslims. As such, based upon the Holy Quran, Ahmadi Muslims believe that this verse is not speaking of literal communication between Prophet Solomon and ants. Wadiun Namal or the Valley of the Ants isn't literally a valley of ants, rather it's a valley where a tribe named Namal lived. And there are several historical books and dictionaries of Arabic language, for example, Tajul Rus, that even pinpoint the tribe named Namala and a location named Namal. And it should be remembered that this was a common practice in Arabia to name their tribe or nation after animals. For example, in the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we find tribes named Banu Asad, meaning sons of lions, or Banu Kalb, meaning sons of dogs. And of course, no rational person takes this literally. This practice was also common amongst Aboriginals here in North America. Even today, we see that lots of sports teams name themselves after animals. Talking about basketball, for example, if a person was to say that hawks were crushed by the bulls last night, we would all understand that the basketball team of Atlanta Hawks was defeated badly by the Chicago Bulls. Not that any actual crushing of animals took place.
And finally, and this is more for those who would have any understanding of the Arabic language, that the forms of verbs that the Holy Quran uses in this verse makes it very clear that human beings are being referred to here, not ants. The Holy Quran uses the words Udhulu and Yahti Mannakum. If the intended subjects were ants, it would have instead used Udhulna and Yahti Manna Kunna. So based upon these reasons and a clear reading of the Holy Quran, Ahmadi Muslims understand that while Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, may peace be upon him, marched towards Queen Sheba, he passed by a valley named Namal, where one of the tribe members warned others to stay in their homes so the approaching army do not mistakenly assume them as enemies and attack them. This, according to Ahmadiyya Islam, is the correct interpretation and understanding of this verse of the Holy Quran.